All right, guys, today we're gonna do an impromptu YouTube video. Everyone's been asking about the Dorado uh, motor unit. We have a demo going on at Lodi Lake. I haven't even got to try it yet, but this guy's gonna try it, and we're gonna get some honest, real-world feedback. He's demoing the Dorado and the Titan, and he's trying to decide motorhead versus Titan with Torquedo. So let's see uh, what he says. So here we go, we got the Titan 12 on the left here, and then we got the Dorado on the right. Matt's hooking up all the wiring stuff to get the overdrive going. So that's its staging spot, and then you push that and slide it in. That disengages the pedals, and that's locked in, and now you're ready to motor. All right, guys, so this is Marco. He's my customer who's demoing out today. He watches a lot of Greg Blanchard videos and our videos, and he wanted to come test out the Titan 12 and the Dorado. And we look, guest appearance from Alvin Outdoors. Hey, what's up? He just so happened to be here. I'm like, hey man, yeah. come to the lake. Let's try some yak. <laughs> Good. What do you think of that yak, man? Is it stable enough for you? It's ridiculous. That's awesome. That thing, it looks like a straight it's missile, a, man. It barely even comes up on the other side. And how much do you weigh? Uh, 160. 165. All right. Yeah, that's the thing about that boat, man. Look at that turn. In this clip, you can see how the two boats are pretty well matched speed wise. Marco's made in the swap, and the first thing he comments on is the primary stability of that Dorado is incredible. A little bit more deck space, too, to move around. Yeah, the green button there turns the system on. A, th a thumb up makes it go forward. There you go. And then you just twist that little knob and that's gonna be your motor. And you can watch it on the screen and it'll tell you like your RPM, your current draw, all the stuff right there. And here it going. All right, I'm gonna race them in the pedals and see how the motor drive compares to uh, Titan under pedal power. Is that full speed, Marco? All right, full speed. I'm at full speed. I'm at the point where pedal any faster, it's not gonna really go any faster. And he's just cruising away. I'd say a pretty evenly matched. So I guess that's the big difference. I'm out of breath, my quads are burning, and he's still cruising. All right, so I'm out here paddling it again. Drive continues to break in and get smoother every time we take it out. So just so you guys know that are out there looking at fuel freeze, I know a lot of people comment about the, the loudness of the drive. Uh, the more you pedal it, the more it breaks in and the smoother it gets. Let's give the motor a shot here. You see the plugs on either side here. I'm just gonna crimp that down. See, and then slide it forward until it clicks and then you'll feel the pedals will be disengaged they'll free spool and then the motor you should give it be able to give it a tug and it'll be nice and locked in there so over here the green button is going to turn it on once it's turned on you'll see the screen light up with your rpms your motor current and your battery status over here you got your forward and reverse so let's go ahead and click it into forward and then we'll get this motor spooled up I would probably say running it at about half throttle so you're not pushing up against the boat's whole speed would give you a lot more battery life. Just turning it down like a third, so maybe I'm cruising at three and a half miles an hour, and the motor draws down to about 60% as opposed to pushing up at that 100% range. I saw somebody across the lake, so I motored over to see what's up. And their boy Eddie out fishing, testing out his new Titan 10.5. He's actually a big fan of the channel, and uh, I was like, hey man, can I get you in the video? So. Here he is, the man himself. Hey, hey, hey. You been catching him out here? Uh, nah, not today, man. I just got out here. I've probably been out here for maybe about 25 minutes. Oh, nice. Well, good luck to you. All right, man. 
And uh, yeah, the review will be up soon, so check back. All right, I sure will, man. You're looking good in that boat. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot to be said about the motor. I'm standing up on the shack, paddling across the lake. No hands included. The boat just tracks straight. It's a pretty cool system, I gotta say. I love the fact that you have that versatility of the whole system all in one right here. So what I was saying before I got cut off there is I like the versatility of the pedal drive and the motor drive all being in the same system. The fact that you can add the motor later on and the fact that the boat is very well geared for their motor. They did a good job kind of incorporating everything into one. I will say it's louder than I expected it to be. Uh, talk to Feel Free about that and they just said with the amount of gears that they have to have, the, the motor running through the gear system of the pedal drive, it gets very complicated and it just gets louder. Um, the other thing is the fact that it's in the center of the boat here. Like torpedoes aren't exactly a quiet drive, but because they're off the back of the boat, you don't hear them quite as much. Um, but still, I think the versatility of having it all in one system, you motor to your spot, once you get to your spot, you pedal, you can drive yourself around with your feet. So uh, I like the versatility. Marcos, who demoed today, liked that versatility as well. He was kind of going for back and forth between the Titan with the Torquedo and a feel free with the overdrive and motorhead and he decided to go with the feel free today. Everyone has different needs, everyone has different preferences. For Marcos, it was really about uh, the, the cleanness of the system and how easy it was to install as well as the stability of the Dorado that kind of won him over. As well as the standing platform, you have this big open area for standing. So Marcos is getting a custom built Dorado, we're going to get it all done for him before he heads back to Bakersfield tomorrow. But don't let Marcos' story affect your story. Do yourself a favor, get out and demo some kayaks, spend some time in it and see what works best for your needs. If you guys have any questions about the Dorado, about the motorhead unit, anything at all, go ahead and leave those in the comment section or uh, shoot us an email, direct message us on Instagram and one of us will definitely get back to you. We hope these videos can be insightful and helpful and give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect when you're buying a feel free with an overdrive and a motorhead unit. And in our next video, we're going to be doing top five upgrades to the native watercraft Titan. That one should be out in the next couple days. Film that with our team guide, David Barofka. So be on the lookout for that video coming soon. This is Dan from Headwaters Kayak Shop wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.